What's up guys, welcome to another penalty of video and penalty of just recently won the NHS contract. Now, I think we have been led to believe that the NHS contract was more important than it was. There was a lot of articles covering it and it unfortunately came at a very, very bad time. I think what really happened with the NHS contract and I'm sorry for uh, actually getting clickbaited a few times there, but what happened was that penalty run up ran up a 50 percent uh run up after their earnings and then the nhs contract came out and that really led to a buy the rumor um nhs deal in the past being the rumor and selling the news so nhs get confirmed um sell the news right so that's what happened with the stock price that's why we saw a sell off yesterday and it was also very coincidentally um the, the, the markets overall also wanted to cool down so um we are heading into thanksgiving right now it's possible some people are selling before thanksgiving and we are getting a very very good cool down before a uh you know at the end of thanksgiving which would theoretically continue the uh, christmas rally so once again this is still very healthy um for pound here we're gonna have to see whether it holds this level so right now it is just holding above that 200 ma we're gonna have to see how strong that is i think that is pretty strong to be honest rsi right now is also bouncing back and MACD is decaying towards the upside very, very quickly. So I would actually expect Palantir to run today. But I think once again, before Thanksgiving, things are probably going to be very, very volatile. And I would probably be uh, pretty wrong here. So I would expect it to run. But, you know, don't hold me to anything if I am wrong on today. So, you know, that is the one hour chart for Palantir. I still think it's pretty strong so i really don't think you do, you need to worry about that let's go to the one day chart one day is also curling down so we were at the overbought territory on the other side so right now we are just curling down once again the macd is also cooling off uh once again for the macd what i'm really looking at is for the macd to be in the red and the stock to not sell off too heavily so i would really expect a support level at around 18 dollars which is the 0.5 fib or the 19 dollars which is just uh where it tends to i think hit too i think 19 also used to be a very strong resistance level i would expect that to become sort of a support once we sort of hit down but we will have to see so there's the one day i would expect once again 18 and 19 let's go to the one week chart one week chart looks like the rsi is uh, cooling down a little bit so we were at the overbought right now we are at 64 it's still very high and we're gonna have to see where the macd ends up by the end of this week macd doesn't really look very strong but once again you have to take into account this run when the macd was in the red um, the stock still ran a significant almost 40 percent so you know penalty might be losing some steam right now they are definitely getting into sort of a overvalued territory but i still haven't sold any of my shares i i did say that i might trim at 25 it is still not there and it, it just on a technical perspective it doesn't look like stock is getting sold off very very heavily i mean sure uh, we had a couple of insider sales and that might uh, be bad but we are also seeing a lot of insider sales in a lot of different companies so we sold off about 10 percent yesterday once again very coincidental with the overall market cooling off so yeah i would expect today to be pretty good i would expect after thanksgiving for the christmas rally to continue and we're gonna see what happens next year uh you know whether penalty can get to 25 by this year i don't expect it but it is still possible and yeah thank you guys for watching like and subscribe see you in the next one